Here we go. On the left hand side, we have a Vegas video edit project file, which plays partly like this. And on the right hand side, we have a rendered video with the same footage that plays like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in New Realms, Episode 14, Malleable, World System, Will, Listen, Quiet, Constructive Building. In this episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we would like to make a world systems theory concept composition, which is an area of current study, and it's important to emphasize that it's world hyphen systems for reasons that will be discussed at a later time. We did a bunch of work. Um, one of the things we did was we worked on something we called music as engineering, which looks like this, and we were experimenting with what are called quarterators. So a quarterator is, here we enter an A33 chord, which is going to look, look like that. So that's a 3-3 chord. But when you use the uh, when you use this chord symbols that MuseScore provides, that's how they interpret it, an A3-3 chord, which is technically called diminished. So we figured out how they were playing that chord here by hand. So basically, they took this chord and they kicked the A, which is the root, down to the bottom, and then they added that extra A at the top. And then... And the same thing here with a, what we call a 4-4 chord, but is technically called augmented. And then we had a lot of fun. Uh, what we call a suspended chord is an A5-5, five five, for example, A. One, two, three, four. A, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's an A5-5 five five chord, which is a really cool chord. But that's not how... Music score plays it. It plays it like this. So, and then our key step, our quarterator, this thing down here also has a quarterator, and it will play this. So there's four ways to play this 5-5 five five chord. The right way, the muse score way, and then the... Uh, key step 37 way. So basically they're playing five twos and two fives. That's what it says right there. So music is engineering. Now you know why. I had a lot of numbers, but it's really interesting in our study on how to create cool sounds. Here's a three, four. And, and, um, the reason we did that is because mu score has something called an A0, which it's a four chord. It's a four note chord. And we did all that. So, um, again, this is part of us studying traditional sounding music. Hello there. Hello, Tornado Orchestra. Hey, I'll get back to you in a second. We're doing a recap here. Um, thank you for chatting. Um, the other thing that we did is uh, we started a new series using 3-2 chords. So the idea of a 3-2 chord is we used all four threes. Um, it's easier to show you on this one. We were using all four threes like this. Like this. But now uh, we're doing instead um,
So that's a 3-2 on top of a 3-2. And we composed a little piece of that here. Very little. Which we think sounds indie, American Indian-ish in a traditional hackneyed way, but nevertheless, we like it. And so our idea here is to follow the Baroque recipe, um, three down, one up, three down, one up, plus play everything with three, two chords and see what we can generate out of that. And there are exactly 12, three, two chords because there are 12 tones on the scale. And also maybe five, five chords. And what we want to wrap up with uh, is the example we showed you at the beginning. So we took about 90 minutes of footage of a visual artist who is playing at a Metaverse nightclub. There was a treaty between your love. So the way DJs work in the Metaverse is the DJ has tons of music queued up and they stream it over uh, Shoutcast into the venue. And then this artist creates original uh, light shows. For example. So we ran around taking candid footage and then went in this episode and edited and picked out all kinds of possible things that we could uh, mix and match. But what we wanted to do for sure was try using our music for um, rather than the DJ's music. So what we're going to do is going to wrap up and show you this, which is our tomato salad to an Alex visuals tree. So what we like about this composition is, well, the visual effects are just stunning. If you had the, She does these shows every week. Um, and some of them are kind of uh, candid. The DJ plays stuff and the late artist plays whatever they feel like playing. So it's kind of like a duet. And then sometimes they work together. The DJ tells the late artist ahead of time what their soundtrack is is and then the artist can pick some things to match and we did a bunch we've been doing a bunch of video editing on that basis we should also mention that we got started on um, our composing in the hybrid metaverse presentation which is officially being accepted and scheduled in uh, late march so last year we did one on the social brain and small world networks and this time we're just going all out about composing talk about the music working with you guys in chat and people like the light artist and doing things in the metaverse online composing um cool stuff and we define composing as putting things together in a pleasing manner and the hybrid metaverse is combined methods and tools so it's not just the metaverse it's how we do music theory so music theory uh, and also um, creative tools I want to say apps. This is just hot off the press, the 
fortunately, since we did this in the conference previously and came up with a system that we liked, uh, we're, this is our tentative outline. will be data demonstrations, putting it all together, and pro tips, assuming we're going to give anybody pro tips on composing. Why not? Isn't that what this is about? We're sharing. I guess sharing pro tips is the right word. So that concludes this episode. Our ideas for next time are to continue making the new music, the three twos we showed you, and five fives. Um, continue world systems theory as a concept composition. We said that's really on our mind. And uh, continue the presentation materials. This is a little outline that we made in the stream to give you an example of the kind of concepts that we're thinking about putting music, expressing musically. So, so far we've talked about uh, music as food, which was tomato salad, uh, music as a recipe, down three, up one, which is called the Baroque series. Um, so what the heck would a world systems look like? That's to be determined. But as a one example in the reference we're reading, they said there have only been two world systems ever in recorded history. One is the World Empire, which are like the Roman Empire and the Chinese Han Empires, and you can look, count them on your fingers. There's a lot of them. And the current world economy, which is what we're in. Both of them have something called the actual division of labor and multiple cultures. But the world empire, like the Roman, was a single ruler, a single political center with many, many, many different cultures. But this one, the world we're in today, has multiple political centers. Think of the EU, think of Beijing, think of Washington, think of um, Berlin, etc. But they share these two things. Today's world economy has multiple cultures. Today's world economy has actual division of labor, which is all about the flow of profit between entities. Yeah, like that. So how are we going to say that musically? That's the interesting thing. And this is an area of current study for us. Shout outs to Alex Heron, the visual artist, Silent Lurker, and right off the bat, Tor Toronado Orchestra. First time chat. We appreciate you. So tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.